Hey guys, got another Kinder Surprise Egg opening for you today. Hopefully we can complete our Looney Tunes set. So let's get stuck in. Um, there's a few characters missing from our sets, so there's plenty for us to get that we haven't actually got. So yeah, that's the first egg. <sighs> Can't wait to eat that chocolate. And we have a, I don't know what this is, it's a little character, can you see him there, looks pretty cool, with a little head on him, let's have a little look in here, it is a mix art character, so as you can see over there we got the orange one. And that's our character. So you put your finger in it like that. Got off smaller fingers than me, but that's what he does. Alright, let's go on to egg number two. I'm hoping to get a couple of Looney Tunes characters in these at some point. Let's see what we can do. And we've got exactly what we want. We've got a Bugs Bunny with a. What's he got? A little golf thing there or something? Let's have a little look here. Put him together. And oh, he's got a frisbee. So that'll go there, see? Put that there. And we've got our Bugs Bunny. That's brilliant. We haven't got him and we needed him. So let's go into egg number three. Oh, the egg's breaking apart. But that's okay. We can cope with that. When you got so much chocolate, I don't eat it all in one go, but it is nice. Oh, and we've got a cool little car, which is one of them little push along cars. Let's show you the actual. It's a Sprinty, it's called. So we've got the orange Sprinty on the bottom there. And as you can see, all you do is you put it on the deck like so and press this down here and he goes flying. I'm not going to do it full force because he'll go flying off there. That's a brilliant prize to get. So let's go into the fourth egg and see what we've got. We've had three great prizes so far. What's this then? It is a... I don't know what it is. Oh, I know. I know, I know. I'm not going to put that one up because it's a bit big to get on camera, but... As you can see, you connect this parachute here to this. And you go outside and you chuck it, as you can see. And it acts as like um, a kite sort of thing. We'll just put that up there. So let's go into egg number four. Number five, sorry. Egg number five. Got loads of chocolate to eat today. Which is good. And we've got another Bugs Bunny. Unbelievable. How can you have two of these? Do you know what I mean? It's crazy. <laughs> But, that's amazing. Two Bugs Bunnies out of six eggs. There he is anyway, I'll show you. So yeah, finally the last final egg. The sixth egg. Oh. Chocolate's a little bit stuck to this one. Put the chocolate. 
przykład AB. And we've got another car. So yeah, we've got this car, which you push together, and it goes along. It's like one of them little shoot me cars. So that goes on the top there, and then that goes on there. Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to take a look at some slimy figures from Monsters University. So let's take a look at the packet first. And these are surprise slime figures in a Monsters University door, as you can see. So we got slimy figures, Monsters University, and in each packet I think we get one figure. There's 24 figures to collect. And we get a pack of slime as well. So, let's get stuck in and see what we can find. So, I know there's a little list here of the figures. We'll have a little look at that in a second. But as you can see, we have the, the door from Monsters University. So this is, you know, if you've seen the film, this is the, the bedroom door that the monsters come out of. But before we take a look at that, let's take a look at the actual figures that we can collect first. And we are going to target the rare figures. So we have, as you can see here, we've got the rare figures, special figures and the classics. I'd love to get Sully and Mike. We have seven doors to open today six doors to open sorry so let's take a look at our first door and see who we get hopefully we'll get a rare so can anyone see who we have so as you can see in each door we get a pack of slime and we have Kari is really like a really nice figure really the detail on these figures are amazing like it's a, it's really a, a really really cool set to collect so let's see what's in door number two so that's door number one really nice as well and you also get this slime which if you wait till the end we'll have some fun with the slime so let's take a look at door number two and they come in these really cool surprise doors as well, which is really nice, you know. Really cool. So let's see who we have. And who do we have here? We have Don. No mistake in Don there. Really nice. Now look at the, you know, the detail. Spot on. Look at that. Really cool. Lots of fun as well. also get some slime as well let's take a look at door number three and let's see who we have and who do we have we have Sully look at that now that's the one I was one of the ones I wanted that's really cool look at that he looks great doesn't he really nice Lovely figures these are. Like, and they're quite big as well, you know. They're, they're at least an inch, inch tall. We also get some slime as well. Can't go wrong with a bit of slime. So let's take a look in door number four. And who do we have behind door number four? Oh yes, he's hiding. Can you see him? We have Mike. Look at that. What's the odds of getting Mike and Sully in the say in in the the door just after? That's crazy. Great stuff. Look at that. Really nice. Love the detail on these. Great. Come on, let's get a rare now. Is it? Should we see if we can get a rare figure in in the last two? In the last two. 
so who do we have? And we have Rhonda. Hello, Rhonda. Say, look at that. Really cool. Really nice. Now let's take a look at our last and final door and see what we get. I love these. This is probably one of my favourite surprise surprises from these doors. And the, the collection's amazing. So the last door contains Rosie. Yeah, hey, we got Rosie. Look at that. That's amazing. Fantastic. Oh, she just kicked him in the head. So we didn't have no doublers. And look at that for a collection. What, you know, what a cool little collection to get that is. And it's 24 of these to collect too. So to complete the whole set would be amazing. So yeah, let's have some fun with the slime. There we go, guys. I've just taken all the slime out of the packets. And it's this really gooey, gooey slime. Which you get in each box. So I thought I'd open it all at the end. Just, you know, because opening it as we go along would just take forever. So, less, but I think the the idea is, is you, you can have a bit of fun with it on its own. But you could also, you know, like place these in it. You know, just chuck them in it, have a bit of fun. You know, oh, won't be able to breathe. But you could just lay them down. They won't stand up in it, I don't think. Oh, Mike will. Oh, he's falling over. Oh, he's going. No, he's not. He's staying up there. But yeah, that's really cool. And I love these figures. Let me know in the comments, guys, who was your favourite figure from this video. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day, as always, guys. And I'll see you next time. Hey, guys. Welcome to another surprise video. Today, we're going to take a look at five Spider-Man surprise eggs. And we're going to take a look at a Kinder surprise as well. So here we have five of these new... Spider-Man and Friends surprise eggs. I love the graphics with Spider-Man on fr on the front. It looks really cool. So let's get stuck in and have a look and see what surprises we get today. This chocolate's really nice too. If you get a chance to try it, it's definitely worth a try. So we get these cool red capsules and the first character we have is a wolverine look at that really nice detail on these as well really nice little collection to collect really cool so we'll put him there we also get do we get like a list or anything no we just get some right then so there's no collection list to get which is unfortunate but let's see what we have now. You know, second surprise egg. Ooh. So our second character is the Iron Man. Looks really good. You know, they're a bit amateurish, but they're really nice collectible figures. Really cool. So let's take a look at our third surprise egg. See what we have. This is a really nice collection. I've been looking for this for a while. And we have the Hulk. Look at that. I love the Hulk. Hulk's amazing. Really cool. Really nice character that is. So let's take a look at our fourth. Surprise egg. And see what we find. And we have our second Iron Man. Really cool. Really nice. Love that. So let's take a look at our Kinder Surprise Egg and see what we find. Now the Kinder Surprise, they've brought out at least a hundred new sets in the last three months and as you can imagine that would take a long time to get the, all of the sets together but let's see what we have here so we have a spinner and the idea is 
you put the cord in like that you hold the top hold it like this and then you spin it like that and it's still it's spinning its way through still spinning still spinning and it's stopped <laughs> they are loads of fun there if you collect a couple of them you can just leave them all off together and it, it makes a bit of a destruction but it's still lots of fun so let's take a look at our last Marvel Spider-Man surprise egg and let's see what we get I really like them actually they're really cool it'd be nice to get Spider-Man in this one if we could would be really cool oh and we have another Iron Man what's the odds again three Iron Man in six eggs well in five eggs but yeah guys let me know in the comments below who is your favorite from this video hope everyone's having a fantastic day as always guys and i'll see you next time hey guys welcome to another surprise video today we're going to open six spongebob square pants Kinder surprise eggs. I had these shipped over specially for this video. So let's take a little look at these boxes. You can't actually get these um, where I am, but you know how cool are they? You know SpongeBob Kinder surprise eggs from Nickelodeon. You know that's fantastic, and we have six. So it says on there one in three will contain a SpongeBob surprise. So let's see if the eggs actually survived the trip. Um, as you can see, not really, but we've got one whole one, which is cool. And we also have two squished ones, so let's just take these out. You know, we've got to break them open anyway to open them, so it doesn't really bother me too much. But as you can see, we have one squished Kinder Surprise Egg, so let's open it and see what we get. This is going to be messy. So in our first egg, we have... Who do we have? Let's take a little look at the actual thing first, which would be a good idea. So let's take a little look at our surprise. So we have, I'm not sure who he is, but he's, the, he's one of the SpongeBob collections over there on the left hand side, which is really cool. And that's a really nice collection as well, actually. If you know that guy's name, let me know in the comments below. So let me just show you the surprise. There he is. Looking all cool. I love these little tentacles or all these little whatever these are up here. They look really nice. So let's just put that over there. Put our little thing there, which is really nice. So let's go into our second egg of that box of the first box and in our second egg we have let's have a little look who we have we have it's crab tick, 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 tick. let's have a little look so put put them together like this These are really cool. I wish they sold these over over here where I am. Which would be really cool, but they don't, so you know well when there's a will there's a way. It's hard to show you on camera without um actually So yeah, there's the ears. Look at the detail on that. That's fantastic. Look at that, that's amazing. So we just put him there. That was our second egg. It said only one in three is going to contain a Spongebob character. But we had two out of three by there, which was really nice. If we got three out of three, that would just be fantastic. But we'll see. I don't think so. Because you get two shades of, of eggs. See, you get the darker one, which is the main, main collections. And then you get the lighter ones, which is the more common toys. But they're still really cool. And in the third one, we have a puzzle, as you can see. So we'll just put our puzzle over there. And it is 
A puzzle I don't think, I think we have had before. Yes, we have. It's that puzzle there. It's a Love Me Buddies puzzle, which is really cute. You know, it's a nice It's nice to collect if you collect them. I've, I think I've comp completed the set. So let's go into box number two. And let's see how many eggs survived this one. Oh, all three eggs survived the trip this time, which is nice. So let's just see if we can get them to stand up there. Have to little, do a little bang. So let's go into our first egg of the second box. And I'm sure you'll all agree that the Kinder chocolate is the best by far. So let's see who we have. We have a Natunes collection. And we have our little seal with the big heads. Now these are really nice. Uh, it's a really nice collection. I've got a fair fi I think it's only one or two of them I haven't got on there. But we have the little white seal. He's really cool. And he's really nice he is. So that's fantastic. So let's have a little look in egg number two of box number two. And it's a SpongeBob SquarePants surprise again. And we have our mystery character. He's not a mystery, obviously. I'm just not sure what his name is. So let, please let me know in the comments below. But he's really cool. He looks fantastic with his little tentacle things on his ears. It's brilliant. So let's see who we get in egg number three of box two. And as you can see, there's another surprise, which is really nice. And we have, oh yes, oh yes, it's the one we needed to complete our set. Definitely, I'm so happy. <laughs> Look at this. Now this is super cool. I just It's the same set as I just showed you. But we have our little penguin. I think he's a penguin anyway. So there he is. Looks like a little penguin to me. Ah, oh, that's super cute. That is, look. Really nice. So yeah, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this SpongeBob surprise Kinder video. I'd just like to thank everyone for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone's having a really nice day. And I'll see you next time. Hey guys, welcome to another egg surprise opening. We have six Kinder eggs today to open, so let's see what sort of prizes we get. Let's go into the first egg. Got some lovely chocolate again, which is always nice. First surprise, we have a puzzle. So we have this puzzle. Now this puzzle I've got a fair few times before. As you can see there's four to collect in that one. So that's pretty cool. I don't uh, tend to put them up myself but we'll just leave that one in the egg like so. Let's go on to egg number two. So let's see what's in egg number two. And we've got another puzzle. Unbelievable what it is. Oh, let me just put that on there. And we've got the exact... No, we haven't. We've got a slightly different puzzle this time. Which is a Love Me Buddies puzzle. As you can see. I'm not a great fan of the puzzles myself. So let's see if we can get anything good in number three. And we've got a Porsche car, one of my favourites. I'm actually I can't wait to complete my collection for these cars. So as you can see, it's really well detailed. It's got the seats. 
that's brilliant so let's just put the car on there and have a look at the we have a Porsche 911 Speedster and let's just have a look at the collection as you can see there's four to collect we have the black one and we've now got the blue one so we just need the top two to complete the set that's fantastic kind of makes up for them puzzles that I just got which I don't like so let's go into egg number four and we've got a what have we here I think I've had this one before as well oh basically it's a kite which as you can see you put it together you get this nice paper year like so and what you do is you put the end part like this on the end like this here and oops missed it by a little bit so it's got a little hole there which you put through as you can see and then what you do is you line it up you push that into there like so and basically what you do then is you take this outside and you throw it and because of the heavy end it does go pretty far I uh, tested that with my old one and it went very far indeed so let's go on to egg number five come on I really want another Porsche or any sort of car would be nice you got something hard this time. Oh, and we've got a finger friend. That's what I like to call him. We've got an orange finger friend. Basically, these just go on your finger like so. Hello, hello. That goes on the end there. Let me just show you the collection for that one. So that's the one we had. And as you can see, it goes on your finger. We've actually got a blue one and the orange one. The yellow one and the purple one we haven't got yet. Which is unfortunate for the time being. So let's go on to egg number six. The last and final egg. Come on, be a push. Be a car. Ah, unbelievable. Look at that. <laughs> We can't. We couldn't get one of these yet, yet for the last month. I've been trying to get a Porsche, and only now I've got two of the same blue one. Unbelievable. Kind of make makes up a little bit for them uh, puzzles we had earlier, though. I suppose doesn't it? So yeah, I'll show you again. There's the collection we can get, guys. We've got the bottom two. We need the top one, and that's the 911 speedster convertible what a car that would be to have in real life eh? so yeah guys hope you enjoyed this little egg surprise we had two as you can see we had two oops let me just get that tidy for you we had two puzzles we had two porsches and we had a kite and a finger friend as well so if you haven't subscribed to the channels already guys subscribe to the channel um, and I bring out at least three or four videos a week. So look forward to them and I look forward to your feedback. Thanks for watching.
Peppa Pig and Officer Steel were at the Ocean Rescue Centre when they could hear Elvis shouting from upstairs. So they turned around and Elvis said, Look, look, the Ocean Rescue Centre's on fire, quick. How did this happen? said Peppa. Oh no, so they all run away. But Peppa said, right, we need some help for this job. So she gets on the phone, but who will she call? Who are you ringing? asked Elvis. I'm going to ring one of our new recruits, Marshall, to help us with this job. But they couldn't go anywhere because Sam was out in the boats, and they couldn't get to the helicopter because the fire was stopping them getting there. But Marshall shows up in quick time, and everyone said, Quick, Marshall, help us. So Marshall turns the fire engine round and starts putting it out. But Sam managed to come back with Venus. But he didn't get the boats. And Sam jumps on top of Venus and starts putting the fire out. So slowly but surely, the fire started to go out. And then Marshall done a great job putting his fire out in super quick time. Great job, said Officer Steele. But now it was Sam's turn. And Sam was struggling to put one fire out. But eventually it managed to put it out. Just one more fire now on the step and all will be well at the Ocean Rescue Centre. So once this fire was put out, Marshall said, Great job, Sam. You really did a good job. So they were all really happy. So finally they can all relax and the fire was out. But what started the fire? asked Officer Steele. I don't know, said Elvis. I just came upstairs and then the fire was started. So Elvis and Peppa Pig jumps into Marshall's fire engine. You deserve to relax. Take it for a little drive and I'm sure you'll feel a lot better when you come back. So Peppa Pig and Elvis head off for a little drive around Pontapandi, leaving Marshall, Officer Steele and Fireman Sam at the Ocean Rescue Centre. Great job, said Officer Steele. I'm proud of you boys. You're really serving Pontapandi well and you're keeping us all safe. Don't forget to subscribe, said Marshall. Fireman Sam and Zuma were at the lifeboat station and they had just finished having a hard day's work. When out of nowhere, they hear a big crash and something hit the lifeboat station. So Sam rushes to the door and goes to look outside. But he can't get outside. There's something stopping him getting outside. So he jumps into Neptune and Zuma says, come on Sam, let's go. So they head off to drive around the lifeboat station to see what's outside and what's crashed into the boat house. What would it be? Oh no, it's only Lee Pig and George. And he was in his speedboat, so he must have crashed into his lifeboat station with his new speedboat. Oh no, Zuma said. Are you guys safe? They are now, said Sam. We are here. So Sam tries to help George and said, Come on, George, grab on. So George grabs Sam's hand. So Sam pulled him up. And now it was time to help Daddy Pig. So he said, Come on, Daddy Pig, jump on. Azuma made sure Daddy Pig didn't drown. So Daddy Pig jumps up really quick onto Neptune. So it was up to Zuma to try to get the speedboat back upright. I wonder how Zuma will do it. Great job Sam, said Daddy Pig. You really saved me and George today. So Zuma tries to get the speedboat back upright and off the lifeboat station. And he just gives it a gentle nudge. And now it was time for Daddy Pig to jump back in. But I think it's safer for George to stay with Sam today. And Daddy Pig said, I don't know what happened, Sam. I just lost control. Maybe I need to drive a lot slower for a little bit. And then I can drive faster when I know how to drive. But he said, thanks, Sam. I'll see you again. So Sam was going to look after George today. And he'd take him back to Peppa Pig's house. But at least Zuma and Sam had saved the day again. Don't forget to subscribe Mike at the workshop who was waiting for Postman Pat. And he could see Postman Pat come in, but something wasn't right. 
It looks like Postman Pat's van is on fire. Oh no, said Mike. Look, Pat, quick, jump out. And Pat couldn't believe what he was seeing. So he gets on the phone quickly and he phones Marshall. And he said, Marshall, quick. Oh no, Marshall said. This is bad. This is real big fire. But luckily, Marshall brought the right fire engine for the job. And he said, look, I can use my hose on the back to put it out. Great job, Marshall, said Pat. You've got here so fast. So Marshall starts to put the fire out. Slowly but surely, the fire goes out, one by one. And eventually, he can move to the back. Once the back's out, they can all relax. So Marshall jumps on top of the van to check what it was. But he couldn't work out what caused the fire. It might have been this sun. He said it's a really warm day. So maybe the sun did it. But we'll never know. But Pat and Mike thanked Marshall. He said, Marshall to the rescue again? You're turning out to be one of the best firefighters in the world, Marshall. Great job. We really appreciate you coming over and helping us. But Marshall had to shoot off. He said, right, I gotta get back to Pont Pandy to see Sam. So you guys, make sure you're safe and don't cause any more fires. So Marshall headed off back to the fire station and he said, don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. For more cool We're looking after the mechanic's garage for the mechanic. And there were some special guests coming round. Rubble was one of them. But who else was coming round? And Rubble said, hey Chase, how are you? And Chase is just fine. So who would be next? It's only Rocky in his garbage truck. Hey Rocky, shouted Chase. So where's Marshall, everyone asked. I don't know, we must be running late. Here I am, guys. Sorry, I just had to fill up the fire engine tank full of water, just in case I get caught out. So everyone was going to have a quick service today, but who would be first? They're all going to have their oil changed. So Rocky was first on. And once everything was done, Rocky said, Wow, I feel so much better, Chase. Thanks. Rubble, you better get on there. It's just so much better. So Rubble jumps on and Chase gets to work. And Chase used to be a qualified mechanic back in the day, he said. And that's why he's doing it. And Rubble said, Wow, Marshall, you're in for a treat. You'll feel so much fresher. Because when you own whether it be a tractor, garbage truck, or a fire engine. They all need to be serviced every year to make them run as smooth as possible. And Marshall said, thanks Chase, you did a great job. So where was everyone off? When Marshall said, I'm heading past the police station, on a lift, so Chase jumped on. And everyone said, thanks Chase, for sorting our servicing out. It's okay, guys. Rubble was working on the Pond of Handy fire station. Chase. And he was fixing one of the tiles that's come loose, which created a leak inside. So everyone had gone on their dinner break when Rubble fell and he got stuck on the roof, so he shouted for help. So Marshall came flying out of the Pond of Handy fire station and he said, what's, what's the matter? And he couldn't believe that Rubble was stuck on top of the roof. So he phones for help and he phones Chase to make sure everything's going to be okay. So Chase comes round and says, Oh no, Rubble, what are you doing up there? And Rubble said, Help guys, quick. I'm only holding on by one paw. So Chase climbs up and he says, Try to jump down. But Rubble couldn't jump down. Rubble was too scared. So Marshall went off and he said, Right, I'm going to have to get the helicopter for this. So Marshall comes in in the Pont Handy helicopter and he says come on Rubble you'll have to grab on but Rubble's really really scared and he said it'll be okay just hold on with your two paws onto my yellow bar at the bottom okay I'll do it said Rubble so Marshall flew over for Rubble to grab on so once Rubble had grabbed on he said come on let's go 
so he had to place him down. The rebel was really, really scared. But he said, quick, go down. But Marshall had to go down slowly. He couldn't just drop Rubble. So finally, he gets down and Rubble jumps off. Whew, that was a close call, said Chase, as Marshall landed. And Chase and Marshall were so happy that they saved one of their best friends. And Rubble was really happy that Chase and Marshall was there to save the day. So this is a case of Paw Patrol to the rescue, said Chase. And Marshall and Chase said Chase his best had friend. just been on the phone to all of his Paw Patrol friends. Said Marshall. And he said, come over guys, we're going to have a sleepover. So Marshall rushed over and couldn't believe it. He loves having a sleepover. And then Rubble comes over, but who will be next? Who else is coming? asked Marshall. And Chase said, you'll see now. So they waited patiently for everyone to turn up. But who would be next? said Marshall. Would it be Rocky? No, it's Zuma. Of course, Zuma loves to sleep over as well. But doesn't everyone? So I wonder who's going to be next. It's Rocky! And Rocky comes flying in. And he said, hey guys, I can't wait for to have a little sleepover with you all. I'm so tired. And it was getting quite late in the day. And the final Paw Patrol rider turned up. And said, hey guys, what a great idea it was to have a sleepover. Whose idea was that? It was Chase's idea, of course. So let's go inside. So they all went inside Chase's police station. And they said, wow, it's really cool in here, Chase. You get to work in such a cool environment. So where's all the blankets? Asked Marshall. And Ryder said, I'll go and get them now, Marshall. Because I love the blankets. So Ryder heads off to get all of the blankets. So everyone can be warm tonight. And everyone said, wow, look what Ryder's got, guys. It looks like he can't see where he's going. Oh no. He definitely can't see where he's going. He's full of Play-Doh blankets. So let's put the blankets on everyone so everyone's nice and toasty. So eventually, it was time for everyone to wake up, and everyone had a great sleep, but Chase was the first one up, and started taking his Play-Doh blanket off, and he said, wake up guys, everyone's so lazy, I know it's Sunday, but there's no need to have a good lay in like that, we've all got stuff to get done today. So Ryder and Rocky were the next two up, and they both started taking off their Play-Doh blankets. That's much better, said Rocky, I can finally breathe now. So Zuma was next, and Marshall. But there's always one lazy one in the bunch, which is Rubble. And everyone shouted, Rubble, wake up! And Rubble just didn't want to take his blanket off. But eventually, he came round to the idea. So everyone had a great sleepover today. We should do this more often, said Rubble. Definitely, said Marshall. I love spending time with you guys. It's one of the best nights sleep I've had for a while, and spending it with my friends is the best time ever. So everyone had a great sleepover, and now it's back to work as well. Don't forget to subscribe. Peppa Pig and Rubble had come across a cool slide, and Peppa said, stop Rubble. So Rubble stopped, and he said, look at this, let's get out. So Rubble and Pepper jumps out and said, wow, this looks so cool. So they waited for their friends to meet them. But who would turn up? Of course, Chase would turn up. 
and she said, Hey guys, this place looks just too cool. Are we going to go on it? Definitely. But where's Marshall? he asked. Here I am, said Marshall. Wow, that's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. It looks like lots of fun. So who's going to go first? So Marshall said, Come on, Chase, me and you'll go first. So Marshall and Chase headed up to the top of the tower. But I wonder who's going to go down the slide first. Would it be Chase or would it be Marshall? I wonder, said Pepper. It's Marshall, look. Whee! Wow! Lots of fun, Marshall said. Come on, Chase. Oh, and Chase came down so fast, he hit Marshall. But he said, Are you okay, Marshall? And Marshall was just fine. And he was laughing about it. So Marshall and Chase jumps into the vans. And they waited for Pepper to come down. Wow! That was so fast, Pepper. So what's Rubble doing? He should be coming down now. But Rubble's got stuck. Oh no! And Rubble's backpack got stuck. So with a helping hand, he managed to get loose. And he hit Pepper on the way down. Are you okay, Pepper? I'm just fine. So they went on the Helter Skelter. And around and round they went. Rubble and Chase, having lots of fun. And they were saying, Wee! This is loads of fun. So it was time to get off. It's time to go now, said Chase. Really? said Pepper. And Marshall and Rubble couldn't believe it was time to go. It's We've only been here two minutes. At the Paw Patrol I know, station. but we have to go home. It's getting and dark Chase soon. decided to so ask some of his friends to come round. Really time on the Rubble slide and, and Marshall. The for a little bit of tea time dinner. So Rubble didn't waste no time to get around to Chase. And he said, hey Chase, I'm so hungry. I've been working like a dog all day. And Chase said, you are a dog, Rubble. Don't be silly. You're right. So where's Marshall, he asked. He should be here now. Oh, there he is now said Rubble. So in came Marshall. And Marshall couldn't believe the food that was available from Chase. And he said, hey guys, the food smells lovely. I've been really hungry all morning. So Chase and Marshall both jumps up on the table to start eating. But Rubble said, guys, the table's too tall for me. I can't get up there. What am I going to do? He said, I've got a cool idea. So Rubble jumps into the bucket on the front of the truck, which allows him to be able to eat at the dinner table. Mmm, the food is so good, said Marshall. You made really nice food this time, Chase. And I really like the chicken. Rubble really likes the crisps. You should always leave the crisps until after dinner, said Chase. So once everyone had food, they were all full, and they said that was loads of food, Chase. Thanks again. We should definitely eat food more often together. We have to head off now. So Marshall and Chase and Rubble all have to get back to work. So Rubble heads back to the construction site, and Marshall has to head back to the fire station. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, said Marshall.
Hey guys, here we have eight surprise Shrek eggs to open. So let's take a little look at one of the eggs up closely, just so you can get see what it is. So we've got Shrek on the front. It says Super Surprise Egg with toy and sticker inside. Uh, then we've got a load of bump, load of right then, and as you can see, not for ages zero to three. So let's open, start opening them up, because there's quite a few of them to open up. Uh, they're quite nice eggs actually, the green, with the green um, cases on the outside. So let's have a look. First things first, we have some candy, which we'll put over there for later. And our first toy is... Here we go. So let's take a little look at the list for a second. So that's what we can get in these. So as you can see, it's a fair few to collect. Um, the donkey and the gingerbread man is what I'd really like to get in here. Well, you know, what's your favourites? Let me know in the comments below. And you also get some cool and groovy stickers as well. So let's get into the second egg. Come on, let's have some gingerbread man. We've got more candy. And we've got our donkey. <laughs> we've already got our donkey in our second egg. Whoops, he's jumping away. Amazing. So we'll just put them by there. And also you get more stickers again. And let's go into our third egg. Hopefully we'll get our gingerbread man. Um, Shrek though would be nice as well if we could get him. Unbelievably, we got another third figurine. Um, I think there's figurines in all of them actually. I don't think none of them have got any of them silly presents like puzzles and stuff we don't like. So the stickers are all the same. Um, as you can see there's our three figures for now. So let's go into our fourth egg. Come on gingerbread man, where are you? Oh no, got a, a guy playing a flute is it? Probably not, but <laughs> as you can see he's got a cape on. Um, it's nice to get different Hope he doesn't want to stand up. No, he doesn't want to stand up. Uh, more stickers again, as you can see. Um, we've got plenty of eggs today to go through. So this is our fifth egg. Come on, gingerbread, where are you? We've got our Shrek as well, and his arm's fallen off. We've got Shrek. One arm Shrek. Two arm Shrek. His arm shouldn't be off, so if you do buy these, and his arm should not be off. There we go, he's back on, two arm Shrek. <laughs> so let's go to our sixth egg. And we've got a guy, an orange guy. I know they have got names, but I'm not... 100% sure on the on the name, so I don't want to say I'm and make myself look stupid. <laughs> so yeah, well, let's go into our this is our seventh egg, and we have another donkey, two donkeys, and some more candy. Got loads of sweets and loads of stickers in this, which are fantastic. Let's go into our last egg, final and last egg. Oh, we got another orange guy. Slightly different though. That's brilliant. We only had one doubler, which was the donkey. Um, I thought we'd have a bit more than that. We didn't get our gingerbread man this time. Um, if you would, guys, like to see me find the gingerbread man or any other characters you would like, please do let me know. 
in the comments below and please like the video if you like the video and subscribe as well guys for regular updates hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time fireman sam and officer steel had just finished a hard day's work when fireman sam noticed that the 4x4 was full of muddy puddles and he said look officer steel the van is full of muddy puddles i think we better take it to pepper pig and george what a great idea said officer steel let's jump in and take it over to the garage to have pepper and george to clean it so fireman sam and officer steel get into the dirty 4x4 it's full of muddy puddles we need to get this cleaned said officer steel so off they went to go and see pepper and george at the garage so pepper and george were waiting at the garage for fireman sam and officer steel when pepper said here they are now george wow Look how dirty the 4x4 is. Where have you been, guys? shouted Pepper. So Officer Steele got out and said, We've just finished a hard day's work. And we noticed the van was so dirty, we needed to bring it down to you because you guys do the best job in town, said Fireman Sam. George said, wow, I can't wait to start cleaning your car. Fireman Sam. So can you clean it for us? No problem, said Pepper. Just stand out of the way and we'll get it done in no time. So Fireman Sam and Officer Steel step out of the way and watch Pepper at work. George is going to do the front and Pepper's going to do the side. So slowly but surely, Pepper cleans the side of the 4x4. And jumps on top and finishes the bit and said, Go on, George, get the front. So with a helping hand, George manages to clean the front of the 4x4. And it came up really clean this time. So George falls over in excitement and starts jumping all into the muddy puddles. George can't help but mess about sometimes. So Pepper said, stop messing about, George. Let's get, let's join in. So Pepper joined in the fun, jumping in the muddy puddles. And realised it was quite a good idea just to have a little bit of fun. So with a help in hand, the mess that was on... The 4x4 is cleaned up. And Fireman Sam and Officer Steele said, Wow, what an amazing job you've done, guys. Good work. We'll definitely be bringing some of, our, some of our other vehicles for you to clean. So Fireman Sam and Officer Steele were ready to go back. When Fireman Sam said, Are you coming, Officer Steele? And Officer Steele said, I'm going to stay here with Pepper and George for a little bit. So Fireman Sam headed off back to the garage to park the car up for the evening. Meanwhile, Pepper, George and Officer Steele were left at the garage. Do you want some cake, Officer Steele? said Pepper. Let's go and get some. Don't forget to subscribe. Postman Pat and Jess were driving along in the van on a delivery when all of a sudden the van bursts into flames so Jess jumps out and runs away from the van and stands by the school meanwhile postman Pat tries to get out as well and postman Pat seems to be stuck in the van he's rushing all he needs to do is calm down and get away from the van quickly so finally he gets out of the van and he runs over to Jess and he's on the phone to Fireman Sam and he says, Fireman Sam, quick, we need your help now. Bring Pepper with you as well. Pepper Pig. 
So Postman Pat and Jess wait for Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig to get to the scene. So here they come now. They bring Jupiter, Fireman Sam's fire engine. So what they do, they jump out of the fire engine and they need to be quick. So they need to put this one out with the hose. So Fireman Sam jumps out and goes, Postman Pat, are you okay? As long as you and Jess are okay, that's the main thing. So Peppa gets out and says, Fireman Sam, shall we use the hose for this one? And Fireman Sam said, yeah, great idea. So with the help in hand, the van is placed at the right spot, right next to the van that's on fire. So with the help in hand again, Peppa Pig gets the hose out. So the hose comes out, and who's going to put it out? It's Peppa Pig's turn to put the fire out. So Peppa grabs the hose, and slowly but surely the fire goes out. And once the fire's out, the fire drops to the floor, and the van is saved. And Jess can't believe that Peppa put it out so quick. Fireman Sam said, great job, Peppa. And Postman Pat is really happy that Peppa saved his van. Because Postman Pat loves his van. So what they do now is they clean the mess up from the fire. With a helping hand, of course. Jess is staring at the van. And is really happy that the van is saved. So Peppa comes over and says, there you go, Postman Pat, your van's all safe now. You can get on to your special deliveries. And Postman Pat can't thank Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig enough. At least everyone's safe and the van is saved. That's the main thing. Tom Thomas and Fireman Sam land Tom Thomas' helicopter. And Fireman Sam said to Tom Thomas, Tom, what are we doing here? As Fireman Sam got out of the helicopter, Tom Thomas said, We're waiting for Pepper to come in a new helicopter that she's just ordered. So Tom Thomas gets out and they both wait for Pepper Pig to come in a new helicopter. So in comes Peppa and Mommy Pig in Peppa's new helicopter. Wow, Fireman Sam said. How cool is that? You've got a really cool helicopter, Peppa. It's so much bigger than Tom Thomas's. Peppa said, thanks guys, how are you? Fireman Sam and Tom said, we great, thanks for asking. So Mommy Pig takes off her seatbelt and comes out. And she stands out of the way so Fireman Sam and Tom Thomas can have a look around Peppa's new helicopter. It's so big, Peppa said. It's going to take me a while to get used to it. But it, it's really nice. Tom Thomas really likes Peppa's new helicopter. And opens the door to have a look inside. Wow! You've got really cool seatbelts in here, Peppa, to keep you nice and safe. Tom Thomas said. And he said, Fireman Sam, come and have a look at this. So Fireman Sam comes over to have a look around the helicopter as well. And he jumps in the passenger seat and said, Peppa, are you going to take us for a drive? So with a helping hand, Fireman Sam put his seatbelt on. Peppa said, Mommy, do you mind if I take Fireman Sam out to show him a new helicopter? And then Mommy Pig said, It's fine, but just don't be too long. You know you've got to have your food later. So Peppa got really excited and said, let's go. So Peppa 
jumps in to the helicopter and puts her seatbelt on with a helping hand of course you gotta put your seatbelt on to be super safe especially if you're if you're flying in a helicopter said fireman Sam so Tom Thomas moves out of the way to watch fireman Sam and Pepper go off into the distance so where should we go fireman Sam said let's go to Ponta Pandy said Pepper so Pepper and fireman Sam both take off in the helicopter wow this is gonna be fun Pepper said so mommy pig and Tom Thomas said I hope they're both gonna be safe don't forget to subscribe the sleepover Pepper and George were playing upstairs meanwhile downstairs mommy pig answers the door to Anna and Anna said hi mommy pig how are you mommy pig said I'm great where's Elsa here I am said Elsa I was already behind Hannah and mommy pig said what's up guys is everything okay so Anna and Elsa explained that they need somewhere to stay tonight and they thought that it would be fantastic if they could spend the evening with Pepper and George and mommy pig said that's a fantastic idea I'll call them down now so George said to Pepper mommy's calling us George let's go down so George goes downstairs and is shocked to see Anna and Elsa and calls Pepper said Pepper come here look who's here so Pepper's really happy that Elsa and Anna's here and Anna and Elsa said I think we're gonna sleep here tonight Pepper and George are you okay with that and Pepper and George said we are but we'll have to ask mommy pig so let's go and ask mommy pig said George so George and Pepper went over to mommy pig and said mommy pig please please let Anna and Elsa sleep over tonight it'll be loads of fun and you can get your special play-doh blankets out for them and mommy pig said of course they can stay over you know how much I like Anna and Elsa so Anna and Elsa said thanks mommy pig it's a big help So George, Pepper, Anna and Elsa were all ready for bed by now and Mommy Pig said jump into bed then guys so Pepper jumps onto the top bunk and said come on George you go on the bottom one tonight so George goes over and gets into the bottom because George is a little bit smaller than Pepper it's easier to get into the bottom for him so Anna and Elsa are going to have to stay on the floor next to Pepper and George. And Anna and Elsa said, that's fine. As long as we get these special Play-Doh blankets we've heard so much about. So Mommy Pig goes off to get the special Play-Doh blankets. So who wants the pink one? Said Mommy Pig. So Pepper shouts out, I love the pink one, Mommy. You know I like pink. So with a helping hand we put on the Play-Doh blanket onto Pepper. And these blankets are really warm. So George are you okay having the yellow one? And George said yeah you know I like yellow mommy. Pepper is really comfy at it with the Play-Doh blanket on. So Mommy Pig goes off to get Elsa and Anna their Play-Doh blankets. 
So back she comes. So who wants the yellow one? And who wants the pink blanket? Anna and Elsa. So Elsa said, wow, they look really comfy. Which one do you want, Anna? Said Elsa. And Elsa said, I'm happy with any color. Shall I take the yellow one? Or shall I take the pink one? So Elsa picks the pink blanket tonight and said, wow, that's really comfy, Mommy Pig. So Anna sleeps next to Elsa with the yellow Play-Doh blanket on. And that's really comfy. By sleeping close together, they will keep each other warm as well. So Mommy Pig said, good night everyone and everyone shouts good night to each other so Peppa said good night Anna good night Elsa and Anna said good night George good night Peppa so they all had a great sleep so the next morning mommy pig has to wake him up so she comes in and she says wake up guys in a really loud voice. So Anna's the first up. And she yawns saying, Thanks, Mammy Pig, that was a great sleep we had last night. Come on, Elsa, get up, said Anna. So she chucks the Play-Doh blanket off her. And she says, Wow, that was a great sleep. Come on, George, come on, Peppa, get up. It's time to get up for school now said Mammy Pig. So the first up is Peppa. Followed by George, who chucks the yellow Play-Doh blanket off him and gets up to see Anna and Elsa before they head off. <coughs> so Anna and Elsa said, thanks for letting me sleep over, Mammy Pig. George and Peppa really made this day really welcoming we have to go now but we'll come back soon to see you so Anna heads off calling Elsa behind her and Elsa said thanks guys I'll see you again soon as she goes out the door so that's Anna and Elsa bye so Pepper and George said oh we gotta go to school now Mommy Pig said, yeah, I'll take you to school in the car. Daddy Pig will be along soon. He's been at work. And then Pepper and George said, thanks for leaving Anna and Elsa sleep over, Mommy. It was really fun. So everyone had a great night. It's time for school now. Grandpa and Pepper Pig were just heading home on the boat. And it's really windy today and really unstable for the boat so they're trying to get back to port quickly when all of a sudden grandpa says hold on pepper and the boat tips over and grandpa said just hold on pepper i don't know what to do but just hold on do not leave go we're not out of nowhere Batman turns up. So Batman said, hold on guys, I'll save you now. So Batman pushes the boat back upright and he goes behind the boat to hold on to it, to stable it in this windy conditions. And he said, are you guys all right? Pepper said, wow, where did you come from, Batman? And Batman said, I'm always watching over you. So Batman's doing a great job at stabling the boat in these really windy conditions so the boat doesn't topple over anymore. And when things finally settle down a little bit, we have Pepper and Grandpa who are really shooken up by being tipped over in the boat. And Pepper said, thanks Batman, 
You really saved us today. You did a great job. Batman said, it's all in the day's work, guys. And you're my friends, so why wouldn't I save you? Oh, Grandpa said, is there anything we could do for you? And Batman said, yeah, there is, actually. You could take me to town on the boat. And Pepper and Grandpa said, what a great idea, Batman. We'll take you in on the boat now the weather is nice. So everyone's safe, thanks to Batman. And Batman did a great deed today. He saved Pepper and Grandpa. Don't forget to subscribe, said Pepper. Mammy Pig was at the shop, working. When all of a sudden, the shopkin's basket go up in flames. And the only thing she can think of is to phone Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig. So she goes off to phone Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig. Meanwhile, at the fire station, Fireman Sam said to Peppa, It's been quite a quiet day today, Peppa, hasn't it? And Peppa said, Yeah, it's been really quiet. It's quite a strange day. When all of a sudden the phone rings. And Fireman Sam said, Quick, it's Mammy Pig and she's in trouble. We need to get there fast, Peppa. So Fireman Sam jumps into the fire engine. And Peppa said, Wait for me, Fireman Sam. I'll jump in Jupiter too. So Peppa jumps into Jupiter and says, Let's go, Sam. Go. So Sam and Peppa made their way to the shop. So Mammy Pig said, Thank God, guys, you're here. I've been waiting for you. And I can't get out of you because I'm stuck between the window and the baskets that are on fire. And Peppa said, Are you okay? And Mammy Pig said, I'm fine. You just need to put this fire out quick. So Peppa shouted to Fireman Sam, saying, Fireman Sam, let me have the hose on the side of the truck. So with a helping hand, Pepper pulls the hose from the side of the truck out. And this hose can be used to put the fire out. So Pepper grabs the hose and points it at the fire. So finally Pepper's managed to put some water on the fire with the hose and it's going out slowly. So one basket down, one to go. So Pepper repositions the hose and nearly gets the second basket out. This one's proven a bit more difficult than the first, but finally the two fires are out and the Shopkins baskets are saved and Mammy Pig is safe. So Pepper moves the baskets out of the way and said, wow, that was a close call, Mammy Pig. Thanks for ringing us. And Mammy Pig give Pepper a big hug to say thank you. So Fireman Sam jumps out of Jupiter and said, that was a close call, Mammy Pig. I think we just got you here in time. And Mammy Pig said to Fireman Sam, I don't even know how they went up in flames. And Fireman Sam said, because they were outside, there's a strong possibility that it could have been the sun. Because when it's such a warm day, like it has been, you have to be really careful when you're out that things don't burn. So Mammy Pig said, Thankfully you guys saved the day again. And you're definitely the best firefighters around. So everyone's safe and everyone can go home happy tonight. Don't forget to subscribe. Peppa's new car. Mammy Pig said to Daddy, is the car outside, Daddy Pig? And Daddy Pig said, yes. The Peppa's new car's outside. And Mommy Pig said, what we need to do is we need to get Peppa and George downstairs from in the bedroom because they play another minute to surprise her. Mommy Pig said to Daddy, you spoil Peppa buying her a new car. And Daddy Pig said, yeah, I know, but she deserves it. So, so Mammy Pig 
shouts up to Pepper and George and says, Pepper, George, come here. So George said, oh, Mommy's calling us, Pepper. Shall we go down? So Pepper goes downstairs and George follows. And Pepper says, what's the matter, Mommy? Is it food time? Or is it bath time? Mommy said, no, we got something outside to show you guys. Do you want to go outside? And Peppa said, what's out there? She, Mommy Pig said, go outside and you'll see. So Peppa, George, Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig all went outside. And Peppa said, wow, what a cool car. And then Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig said, it's yours, Peppa. We just bought it for you. And Peppa couldn't believe how lucky she was to be given a car just like her dad's. So she jumps inside and Pepper and George jump in the front. And Pepper said, wow, this car is so cool, Daddy. Thank you so much. And Mommy Pig said, just make sure you're being safe. That's all I ask. Just make sure you're safe and keep your brother safe, safe as well. And Daddy Pig said, now go and have some fun, guys. So Pepper and George went off in a new car to have some fun. And Mommy and Daddy Pig said, They grow up so fast, don't they, Daddy Pig? Don't forget to subscribe, said Mommy Pig. Peppa Pig, George and Thomas the Tank headed down the shop. And they go in to pick up some Shopkins. This is a collection of really cool characters with fruit and veg, cakes, sweets, pantry, party food, health and beauty, frozen characters, and of course we've got our limited edition. So Pepper opens the door and they go into the shop. So Pepper gets the trolley. Thomas says, should we get the both of them? So we'll get four characters. And George said, yeah, that's a cool idea. So George goes in and pays for the two Shopkins. So Pepper pushes the trolley out of the way. And, Pe and George comes out. Pepper said, I can't wait to see what characters we get today. Hopefully we'll get a rare one. Oh no, Peppa fell over in excitement. George said, are you okay, Peppa? Peppa said, yeah, I'm great. I just fell over. I just get too excited sometimes. So obviously, with a helping hand, we'll open the Shopkins and we'll see what we get. And we'll get two characters in each basket. Thomas said, I hope we get some rare ones. It'd be really cool if you got something special, said George. So as we open the basket, we'll see the characters inside. And the characters come in two little blue bags said Thomas. And Peppa said, yeah, that's the same colour as you, Thomas. And George's jumper. Blue. So that's one for George and one for Peppa. So let's open our first one and see what we get. Wow. Our first one is Flutter Cake. Number 38, said George. So let's open the second Shopkins and see what we get in this one. Hopefully we get something special. And Peppa said, wow, that's Chap Ellie, number 117, 177. And that one's rare. Wow, that's pretty cool, said Thomas. I wonder what we'll get in our second 
basket. So with the helping hand, of course, we open the second basket. What will we find? said George. We're going to take these home to show Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig later on. So opening the third Shopkins, we find Rainbow Bite number 84, said George. And what's the last one? Will it be special? It most certainly is, said Thomas. It's Spilt Milk number 67, which is a rare one. Wow, what a cool collection you've got. So Thomas comes round to have a look at the collection and says, Wow, we got some really good pulls today. So Pepper, George and Thomas are really happy with the Shopkins they found. Don't forget to subscribe, said Pepper. Pepper Pig and George have come across a really spooky castle. When George said, this is pretty scary, Pepper. I think we need to get some friends to help us. Pepper said, great idea. So Pepper phones Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. And now they have to wait for Scooby and Shaggy to come. They said they wouldn't be long. So while they wait then, they're quite scared. And Scooby comes along with his magnifying glass. He's ready to look. And Shaggy comes along with his burgers. And Pepper said, what have you got your burgers for? Shaggy, we're looking at this abandoned castle. We're not going for food. And Shaggy replied saying, there's always time for food, Pepper. So George goes upstairs to have a little wander about and see what's there. Pepper says, be safe, George. So Shaggy and Pepper are going to explore. So they explore and they can see like a little trap door. So Pepper said, I'll jump on it now and see what it does. So Pepper jumps on the a little hatch and out comes skeleton hands Pepper jumps out of the way but Shaggy's not phased Shaggy's quite strong and he said look it's only fake they're just there to scare you so let's go and see what George is up to upstairs so Shaggy and Pepper go upstairs and George says, look, I found another trap door. Lucky I never walked into it. So with a help in hand, we can see how the trap door works. Peppa said, good work, George. Just be a bit safer next time. So downstairs they go and they find Shaggy and Scooby. I found a skeleton. And he's looking at it with his magnifying glass. And he said, it's just a fake one, look. It's plastic. It did scare me for a second at first. Scooby and Shaggy and Pepper all go onto the second floor and they found this cool gun. It shoots out and it's probably to protect the castle when there was already people here. So Pepper goes up the rope and said come up here guys we can see everything from up here so Shaggy and Scooby go up there and they all call George and they shout George George come up here look it's cool up here so up goes George and said is there room for me yeah there's always room for you George said Pepper so they all found the castle very interesting. Don't forget to subscribe.